The Toad Tuck area has made a lot of progress since it was flooded out just a few weeks ago, but the park's still dangerous. That's according to the Army Corps of Engineers. KRK4's Rebecca Jeffries shares what's in the works and what still needs to be done. Rebecca, a lot of cleanup. Yeah, definitely, Hillary. Like so many areas around Arkansas, we're celebrating the small steps here. Normally being the weekend before the 4th of July, the park would be full. Instead, it's closed with nothing indicating when it will open again. This big boy right here. July 4th preparations are underway, whether Toad Suck is ready or not. The M5000. Jeremy Martin works at the fireworks stand at the Toad Suck one stop parking lot. This road right here used to be paved. And this used to be all grass, but now they put gravel in it. Roads normally filled with campers are now where you'll find construction workers working to repair the damage made by feet of water just a few weeks ago. If it doesn't feel like summer to you until there's sand underneath your toes, you probably weren't thinking of this kind of sand. There's a lot of work still to be done here at Toad Suck Park, but the first thing that has to happen, this water has to dry out. It's a big old mess, that's for sure. And since it's closed, the sounds of summer are nearly silent here. The Army Corps of Engineers sharing these photos from inside the closed campground. Meanwhile, the nearby mobile homes are destroyed and deserted. And with the one stop still closed, it's affecting their fireworks sales as well. Usually if a person stops by the store, they will also see our fireworks tent and say, hey, you know, let's go get some fireworks. But being as they can't stop, well, then we're losing customers. So while the summer at Toad Suck is a dud for now, Martin is expecting a real explosion in business and people. And they can finally put the flooding behind them. But for a little uplifting news tonight, I spoke to the owners of the Toad Suck One Stop. They said they are on schedule to reopen July 4th. The few people around the area said once they reopen, they expect things to finally turn back around. Hillary.